Welcome to This Week of Four Horsemen. I am Ryan Sanchez, and this is Bird Person? person? Bird just, Person? Just Bird Person. Just Bird. Bird Person. Bird Person. Just Bird Person. Okay. So, Bird Person. person. What is This Week at Four Horsemen? This Week at Four Horsemen is our weekly show about current events, sales, promotions going on here in the show. Cool awesome. stuff. And we're going to start off this episode, like we do every episode, with a giveaway. What is this? I don't know what this, this is. This one's special. I have hidden a $25 Four Horsemen gift certificate in the store, and the first person to find it gets to claim it. <laughs> and I'm going to give three clues. Okay. One is an excellent clue. The second one is not a bogus clue. And I assure you that the third clue is in one station. <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. <laughs> so, good luck. It's there until somebody finds it. I won't, be, I won't be removing it at the end of the week if no one finds it. Happy hunting. Be excellent to each other. Yes. <laughs> and let's move on to new comics. What do we got this week? Uh, we have a exciting new DC title. We're going to have Alex bring up the cover for it. It is Nightwing, The New Order. Now, if you think that looks a little... That does. ...suggestive, that's because that's exactly what it is. This is an alternate future story where the where weapons and superheroes have been eliminated by Dick Grayson. For real. Dick Grayson heads a government uh, task force called the Crusaders who hunt down and kill superheroes. Huh. Uh, now, I'm sure this was... Uh, not planned. Yeah. But <laughs> it sounds like an interesting story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. That's moving on. Good. Yeah. Another, our crossover of the well, week. We, that needs to be a thing. There's always a crossover. Always. There's a always crossover. a good crossover. Yeah. Uh, Generations Unworthy Thor and Mighty Thor. Yeah. You now can't if, have enough Thors. If you haven't noticed, Marvel is doing a thing called the Generation Series where they take the two most recent iterations of a character and mash them together. We did. Wolverine, Wolverine last, last week. week. Yeah. This week is Thor. I'm not sure what's ne next week, but it'll be something. Cool. Yeah. We should have a Thor's Day. Thor's Day. Happy, oh, happy, Thor's, happy Thor's, Day. Thor's Day. All right, moving on. Star Wars Book of the Week. We have the Dr. Afra Annual, and this is the origin story of Black Cure Senten. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. that, I'm it, not familiar with that character. Uh, he's So he's from he's originally from the main Star Wars Marvel series. Right. And he's uh, kind of inserted him. He was in also in the Darth Vader one, and now he's in the Afro one. He's kind of inserted himself all over the place. Hmm. Currently, he's palling around with Doctor Afro because she owes him a large sum of credits. He's right. a bounty hunter, and he wants to make sure that she makes good on them. Ah, so he's keeping her close. Yes, he's. I like it. Uh, his fight with Chewbacca was quite entertaining. Oh, he fought Chewbacca. He fought Chewbacca. He won. Well, they're both alive, <laughs> which is saying something. Because when Wookiees battle, yeah, somebody's losing an arm. Mm -hmm. Did uh, is that where the scar came from? From Chewbacca? Read the book. Oh, you can make me read. Moving on to the Four Horsemen versus series. It is Dark Days. Who won? Dark Days, everybody. <laughs> uh, Fudge has been removed from the seats. Voldemort <laughs> is now in control. As uh, Dark Days. All right, so that stupid rabbit beat oh, Wonder Woman. Yes. I have one question. Did Twitter betray, betray me this week? See, remember last week I wrote down my my prediction and I taped it here, and I did predict the rabbit was going to win. And you predicted correctly. However, the only platform that Wonder Woman won was Twitter. Twitter. Come on. No, Twitter, you did done right this <laughs> this week. Like, he's a rabbit. I put him in have as a seen, joke. Have you seen... What is it with joke candidates winning elections? That never happens. That never happens. <laughs> Anyways, uh, mov week? moving on to this week is a big one. Who? Two, Who we got? two oh, potential no. contenders here to take the whole thing. Obi-Wan Kenobi, your pick to win oh, versus yes. Doctor Strange. Oh. Uh, I think that it's hard to compare the force versus the powers of the Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah. I don't know. I I, I want Obi-Wan to win. I hate to go against it. Should I write my answer down again? No, just so, no, it's fine. All right, Twitter, listen. Back me up on this. Doctor Strange. I'm going I, against Star Wars. This is like a, a momentous occasion. I think you might be right, but I want 
I, Obi-Wan yeah, I really want Obi-Wan to win. But, but I mean, like, logistically, he can't. But Doctor Strange is, he's a little overpowered. And not, not in the yeah. way that a typical Marvel hero is. Right. It's just that his, the nature of his powers are overpowered. Yeah. Yeah. Reality Gee, bending. Gee, bending reality. <laughs> Okay, I'm spoons and you reality. no longer can use the force. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I've sucked all the exactly. midi chlorians out of your body. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Let's move on. Uh, we're going That's... to go over the weekly events that we host every week here at Force and Comics and Gaming. If you'd like any details on these, please go to our Facebook page and click on the events tab. Starting off Wednesday, as we do every week, we have D&D Encounters at 6, Proxy Legacy at 6.30, and Hero Clicks at 6.45. Yes, and then on Thursday, we have Commander from 5 to close and X-Wing Flights from 6 to close. You mean Thursday? Friday, we have FNM Proxy Legacy at 6, which you can see on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. And we have Modern at 6.30 and Friday Night Pokemon, which is booming at 6.30 we as well. a lot of people for Pokemon. Oh, yes, we did. It was great. Uh, Saturday, we have the Pokemon League and Standard Showdown at five pokemon league at noon and standard showdown at five and then on sunday we have commander from noon to close and dice masters at two yep all right one more word on the sealed league we want to say congratulations to troy taylor job, troy. for winning the whole thing by a very large margin yes, he played he a lot of games also was elected by the community as to have the coolest deck. Yep. And can you tell us who won the friendliest opponent award? That would be Louis Newland. Which he was awesome. That is the most accurate thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yes, absolutely. He, he's so gracious. He really is. Yes. He's a lot of fun to hang out with. Too. Continuing the magic jargon, we have Commander 2017, which releases this Friday. Nice. We're going to stay open late Thursday. We'll be here till 1230 where you can pick up your pre-orders from midnight to 12.30. Yep. We have a really sweet pre-order deal. Mm -hmm. It closes on the 24th? It closes that night at 9 p.m. Okay. So there will be no more pre-orders taken from 9 to midnight. Uh, we do are selling the decks at $34.99, which is MSRP. But if you pre-order more than one, you get a discount. For two decks, you get them for $64.99. Three decks is $94.99. And the entire set, four decks for one twenty four ninety nine, which saves you about fifteen dollars. Pretty sweet. Yes, we're also yeah. raffling off an entire set of Commander twenty seventeen, which we will give away this Sunday at six p.m., which is when we close. All you have to do to get raffle tickets is be in the store and play a game. Whenever you start a new game, go up to the counter, say we're starting a new game, and you get a new raffle ticket in the fishbowl. That's from Thursday to Sunday. That's from Thursday to Sunday. <laughs> Wasn't previously announced Friday to Sunday. We're extending it to include Thursday. Yep. Uh, also coming up this week, every every last Saturday of the month, we have board game day. So from noon on, we're going to be playing some games. I'm actually going to try to get a couple in. I want us to play Captain Sonar so bad. Jay you, Spears, I'm looking at you. You're not playing any of this Saturday. I, I got to tell you. Uh, we I'm have to try. We, it's not happening. <laughs> uh, we have demo games available. About how many demo games do you think we have down on that shelf? Uh, at least a. Hundred thousand. I was I was gonna say at least like thirty to forty, probably yeah. more. Yeah, probably more than that. There's we have a lot. a lot of demo games. You can bring your own games. You can play with ours, and we might have a relevant sale. Stay tuned. We may. To, stay tuned till the end of the episode to find out this week's it's weekly be sale. Sweet. It's a sweet sale. All right. <laughs> other events we have Force of Will this week. Yep. They have two events. They are starting a new event called Force of Will Fun Day, which is Friday at five thirty. Just casual play. Yep. Definitely a good time to come in. And then on Saturday, what's going on? Win a box. Saturday at 1 o'clock. It's mm -hmm. $10 entry. We need a six-player minimum to fire it, and everyone that comes in gets a free promo. Going to be playing for the new set that releases on the 8th, I believe. Yes, so we'll put if you win, we'll put you down for a paid pre-order. So you a can whole just, box. You can just you. pick up that box on the day it releases. Yep. It's finally come. What is what The is Four coming? Horsemen Eternal Festival is here. It's gonna be a good weekend. So many, so many weeks of preparation yes. and promotion. It's it's finally come down to it. So we're gonna give you these facts one more, more time. time. And next week you get to find out who won. <laughs> uh, so we have our Friday events, which we've already gone over. And here's our beautiful playmat. Play this playmat will go to the top four contenders from the Team Eternal Championships on Saturday, and the top eight contenders from the Legacy Championships on Sunday. Yep. So on Saturday, we have the Team Eternal Championship at 11 a.m. It's $35 if you pre-register, 40 at the door. And what that is is three on three, 
one person on each team is playing Modern, Proxy Legacy, and Proxy Vintage. And then we have an Eternal Masters Draft at 3 p.m., which is $35, and then... Modern Side Event at 7 p.m., entry is 10 bucks. Yep. And moving on to our Sunday events, we have the Legacy Championship, which does allow proxies. It's at 11 a.m. and 30, it's $30 to play. We have the No Ban List Modern Side Event at 3 p.m., which is $10 Ten to play. And is it all cash prizes for all these events? All cash prizes. That's awesome. And if you prefer store credit, which who, who doesn't, doesn't? Yeah. you get a 25% increase in the amount. So if you win 100 bucks, you'll get 125 if you decide to take store credit instead. Sweet deal. Uh, speaking of that, we are also buying cards all weekend. All weekend. We'll so bring in everything. And not just Magic cards. Pokemon, Pokemon cards, Yu -Gi -Oh. too. Yu-Gi-Oh, yep. yeah. Force bring of Will. Force of We're Will. Starting to Force of Will as well. Are, are those listed on our TCG? They are. They are. They are. Uh, they so are. We have some oh, right. Force of Will out there. We've got uh, some Dice Masters, which is also. We need to work a new on edition. Star Wars Destiny. And that's next. All right. One more final detail about Eternal Festival. If you'd like to pre register for either of the two main events, all you have to do is call the store or message us on Facebook. We'll add your name to the list. You can pay the morning of, and that will give you the discount. Get your name on the list before if you're coming. Yes, it, you help, it helps us get an idea of how many players are coming. It saves you a little bit of money. You scratch our back, we we'll scratch, scratch yours. Our mm -hmm. We pointed to the wrong people when we said that. You realize that? We scratch no, your I, back. <laughs> move along. Move on. Move along. <laughs> Nothing to see. Nothing to see. So we have, we're sponsoring an event. We are sponsoring an event, and I am really looking forward to this. It is, it's called Rave and Morty. Uh, it is being put on by Main Street Morgantown, our friends over there, and we're helping out uh, uh, sponsor this thing. It looks like a lot of fun. I So if I've got this correct, this is a rave, but it's Rick and Morty themed. themed. I think you can dress up. I okay. think there's going to be just all kinds of Rick and Morty last, deliciousness going on. Last time I went to a rave, uh, my friend was severely injured. And then I injured my car driving it up onto the sidewalk just to get to the convention center doors. <laughs> what was what was the the rave? What, what band? It was it what was bands? DJs or okay. what do raves? Not not. Shows how many raves I've been to. And it was a, uh, an anime convention, Subasacon in Huntington. So, if that says anything. <laughs> Good times. Oh, good times good were times. had by all. Yeah. All right, so well, we'll zombie, there. We'll there zombie Walk is upcoming? Zombie Walk is upcoming. We still have a tentative date um, so in the works. Details are coming details soon. Details are coming soon. Stay Very tuned soon. for more zombies. Next week. <laughs> all right, so moving on to my favorite segment and your favorite segment, This Week in Star Wars. Every week is Star Wars, though. StarWars.com is doing a series called The Most Impressive Fans where they take a fan who does something to contribute to the community and they feature them every week. And this one is a man or a person called at Sergeant Bananas on Instagram who takes very beautiful photos of his Star Wars toys. That's really cool. That is a K2SO action figure. No way. He took that. Yeah. You can follow his Twitter account one more time at Sergeant Bananas. We're going to take a look at a few more. Look at these snow that troopers. That is amazing. Uh, so it, in the article, it says that sometimes uh, he has to buy new ones because they explode. <laughs> <laughs> I exploded them. Yes. Uh, and here. Look at that. Here is an ATST Take shooting, a taking a shot at a snow speeder. That's Fair. amazing. Yeah. And here are some ATAT so pilots. You wow. can see the snow. And there's, uh, there's Chewy <laughs> chilling on the beach. I love the sunglasses. He's at the beach at Scarif waiting to die. <laughs> He's watching the, the nuclear cloud roll in. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, oh, that's nice. Yes, there's Vader entering the base at Hoth. God, lead from the front. What number planet from in the Hoth system? Sixth planet. Is it the fourth planet? I, mean, I blew it. I want to say it. I want to, I'm like 95% sure. We found we'll have to Google it after this. Fourth planet of the Hoth system. I See, when say. I said it in my head, I heard sixth. Yeah. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I too. don't think I'm wrong. I've been wrong once or twice. All right, moving on to my second favorite feature. Or maybe my third. It's up there. This Week in Movies. <laughs> We've got Birth of the Dragon. Now, I never in my life ever, and if you like wrestling, I'm sorry. I never in my life ever thought I'd be like, oh, I can't wait to go see that new WWE movie. This is a WWE movie? It's, pro it's produced by the WWE movie studio. Is yeah. it really? Yeah. Have you seen the trailer? No. It no. looks awesome. I, I mean, I, I saw, you know, the Bruce Lee thing, but 
And I want to see it just for that. Oh, yeah. I didn't know the WWE was So this is Birth this. of the Dragon. It is the origin story of Bruce Lee. Uh, it's like a biography type picture, but it's also, of course, a kung fu movie. And yes. it's about his, his big fight where yeah. he fought this big guy. As you can tell, I researched this really well. <laughs> <laughs> but watch the trailer. It looks really awesome. I'm hoping to see it this week. Oh, The Monk. The Monk? From China. Oh. Yeah. Oh, also, I saw Dark Tower. That was really good. Dark Tower. Holy crap. It was good. I saw Annabelle. Annabelle scared me. All right, so picture this. I'm in a theater with, like, 60 or 70, like, teenage girls. So they scream at everything. And every time they scream, it terrified me. <laughs> The credits started rolling. They started screaming. Yeah. <laughs> I scare easy. Uh, we've got another flick that we're going to talk about this week, and it is Castle in the Sky. I do not know anything about this. This is uh, from Studio Ghibli. Okay. From my favorite studio director, Ghibli? Hayao Hayao Miyazaki. Ghibli is uh, it's actually from the Italian Ghibli, which means hot wind off of the desert, which is the impact that I thought that was a Hobbit. No, that was Gimli. Sorry. No, he was a dwarf. He was no, no. Yeah, was he a dwarf? Gimli's a dwarf. He was a dwarf. That's right. Sorry. <laughs> Moving uh, on. Anyway, uh, please take away his comment. Sorry. I I'm going to. <laughs> uh, Fandom uh, events is doing this Studio Ghibli series now. If you're not familiar with Studio Ghibli, they are the most renowned animation studio in Japan. They make probably the best animated films ever made. Uh, and this was the first one they ever did, uh, aside from Nausicaa, which is, that's a discussion we could have. But anyways, this is their first movie, and Fandom Events is doing a series, like, every few months they put a new one in theaters right. for two days. On the first day, they show the dubbed version. On the second day, they do the subbed version. Right. And this is a legendary anime film. And a local theater, Cinemark, at the Meadowbrook Mall in Clarksburg will have this. This Sunday at 1 p.m., they're doing the dubbed version. And this Monday at 7 p.m., which I will be there, they are doing the <laughs> subbed version. Three guesses what famous American actor uh, plays the villain in the American dub of this film. Ryan Cranston. Two more. Uh, Michael J. Fox. <sighs> you're, you're, James Earl Jones. You're... You, Oh, oh! You you were so close. You were so close. James Earl Fox. Mark Hamill. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the voice actor. I can kind of see that. I uh, love Castle in the Sky. I'm going to be at Cinemark this Monday. You should come watch it with me. What's the general story? Uh, general story is you should come watch it with me. <laughs> I might do that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's moving on to Horseman, Horseman of the Week. We need to, like have a music clip for that. Uh, yeah, or a bumper. I mean, like we should probably we should probably make graphics before we worry we about jingles. Yeah, jingle. We need jingles. Graphics, <laughs> then, then jingles. jingles. All right, we have All a right. plan. This Horseman of the Week is a long time coming. Yep. Uh, this is a local Magic player and X-wing player, tournament and, organizer, and general uh, hooligan who loiters in our store way too much. A lot. He's here more than I am. He he's more, here more than I am. Which says something. Um, we want to recognize Tyler Claypool, Turtle, to gotta call him Turtle. Sleeves, <laughs> I forgot sleeves. Tiber, <laughs> has so many names. Claypool. <laughs> Everybody in the store knows him. Turtle's a great guy. On really our F and M streams, he is the number one fan favorite. If we don't stream one of his matches, the the chat's like, "Where's Tyler? We want the turtle kid." Uh, whenever I need something done, whenever I seem like super busy and stressed, he's always the first person to offer to help. Yep, he's always asking me. Hey, Even you before you know Ron. <laughs> Usually yes, yes. an hour before <laughs> Ron. <laughs> nah, and he's he, been a, a great addition to the shop. Very passionate really nice. about his various. Hobbies, yep. including, of course, Magic and X-Wing. He's run Huge Star Wars nerd. Oh, my gosh, yeah. And yeah. he's a huge history person. Yeah, he has Civil a lot Warian of... actor. Yep, yep. He does a lot of lot of community stuff, yep. which and is awesome. We just wanted to uh, take a minute to recognize him and say thank you for Thanks, being Turtle. a part of the store. We give you a lot of grief, but you're you're okay. Everybody gives you Everybody. a lot of grief, but 95% of them actually like you. 90, 96? 96. 96. Yeah, well... <laughs> That that one percent is Caleb, and then it oh, okay. it depends on the day. Yeah, it's true. Caleb's kind of cranky. It depends on how pissed Deanna is. At it. 
All right. Um, moving on to the Four Horsemen mailbag. I got Ooh. this one. This was a little bit of a controversial that question. Is, uh... So we had this one sub- submitted, another anonymous one. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you think movie patrons will ever grow tired of superhero films? I, I will let you respond, then I will respond. All right. My response is really going to be a surprise, I think. I am really surprised that this hasn't worn off yet. But the reason that it hasn't is they are doing such a fantastic job there is no Marvel end in sight. Doing so. Marvel's doing well. DC has come around. Wonder what, Woman, when, Wonder Woman did great. It, okay, but I would say that Mars one one amazing movie is not coming around. Well, they they've they've started turning the Titanic. How yeah. About that? Okay. I have seen the trailer and for I, Justice and League, I, and I'm a Justice League trailer looks terrible. What? It looks great. No, it's super boring. Well, no. No. Okay. So how do you how do you defend it? Okay. What's what's the DC movie universe's best movie? Wonder Woman. Okay, and in the Justice League trailer, what character is not given an introductory like slot? I didn't pay attention to that. Wonder Woman. It really? She, they don't. No, they don't. Like, there's the whole. He's the. He's from the sea. Blah blah. blah. He's, uh, uh, and then oh, he's a cyborg from uh, blah, and it's like psych- yeah. They don't do and one don't, for Wonder Woman. They do one for. They've got thirty they, seconds. No, Maybe they're going alphabetical. It's, it's like a two minute trailer. W's at the end. It it's and it gives you like no information. And it's just like a bunch of kicking and punching, and then there's this right in the middle of it. There's this random football player going, with no context. It sports ball. It is one of the. Do you remember the first time you saw the Avengers trailer? Like that I first do. or it chills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get chills at this Justice League I, I trailer? I didn't. No. I was mildly amused. It, it doesn't. I I really want this to work. And the directors. I no, so I want it to work too. Like I'm I'm a defender. Like. I didn't hate Batman vs Superman. I thought it was I thought it was B plus. I thought I thought Suicide generous. Squad was like a solid B minus. Real generous. I thought Man of Steel was like you're digging holes. Was like a D plus. <laughs> <laughs> and like I'm a little bit of a defender. I actually like Superman more than that. I, I the the beginning was great. That yeah. whole last fight scene totally lost oh, me. That was great. It was just punching and well, it's a punch flying game. and boring. people getting thrown through buildings. It's exciting. I, I get lost in action sequences a lot. Uh, yeah. But I think I think that they I think that yes, eventually they may. The studios we are going to keep making these as long as they're successful and there's no shortage of fans. I think that they won't. Okay. Because everybody wants to be a superhero. And every True. time I watch a superhero movie, I'm always imagining myself in that person's place. So even if the movie's terrible, you're terrible. <laughs> I get I get some amount of enjoyment out of it. And there's actually a, li- a really good monologue from Kickass. Yeah. That explains this. Okay. Do you have that? No. That would. Sh- that I've already told you. To <laughs> I am not that well prepared. That's, all right. So in Suicide Squad, who were you imagining yourself as? And I'll tell you who I was. Oh, go ahead. Who, no, you first. You were totally Harley Quinn. I. Loathe Harley Quinn. What? <laughs> but you were still Harley Quinn. She is the most annoying character. <sighs> but you were Harley Quinn, though. No. Who were you? I don't know. I was Will Smith. I, was, so I, I could see myself being Will Smith. Will Smith. Yeah. The, the, da- the daughter. The daughter. Yeah. The daughter. Yeah, yep. yeah, it was totally Will Smith. Croc. You Croc? were Croc? Alex was Croc. I mean, in, in middle I'm school, I would have said I was Croc like that. Yeah. <laughs> Cause just like I was the first kid to grow a mustache and had terrible acne, and I was like, oh, "Don't look at me." <laughs> but see, even in superhero movies, I don't see myself in the the superhero ro- role. I don't really see myself in any role, but I just like cheering for the bad guy. But everybody, lose, but everybody but... wants to be a superhero. Like, okay, so if there Most was people. if there was a magic button that said you hit it and you get superpowers, you wouldn't hit. Oh, it. Oh, I would lay on that button. See, what what super? Here's a question. Maybe this is for next week. What superpower do you want? Super speed. Speed. It's Emma, Emma and I talk about my daughter and I talk about this almost every day. Super speed like solves everything. Uh, you, you don't you don't need flight because you can if you're talking like flash level super speed right. you can get anywhere within seconds. You don't need strength because you can just run around the world and punch them <laughs> with all that momentum. <laughs> like super speed out of the traditional superpowers is probably the most the most busted. True, true. Oh, okay, I'll give you that. What about you? I have no idea. Right, well, I'm, I'm terrified of heights, so if I flew, it'd be like a foot can, off the ground. Can we queue up the derailed train? 
like image. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm just gonna give Alex Moving a picture on. of a derailed train, and whenever we go off on a tangent, he can just put it up on the screen. <laughs> we have that like the flaming freight train thing. No, we that's get that. that's a train wreck. That's different. No, it's like a train. It's like coming at you. It's like on fire as it's rolling down the. Track. Yeah, but that's I mean like derailed oh, and train okay. wreck. Gotcha. Those two different things. Yeah. We do both of them we often. Do. We do. We really do. All right, uh, we have a sale. We do. What is it? Oh, uh, sorry. Twenty uh, percent off board games and expansions uh, in this this week in uh, honor of board game day this Saturday. Yep. Um, but we are going to expand it a little more. If you are here, what are you hitting me for? Just I'll tell you after. Just keep going. Oh. <laughs> Uh, we're going to expand a little bit. So if you are in Saturday playing and you see a game that, or you want a game that we don't have on the shelves, pre-order it. Um, any special requests, those are also 20% off. Yes, so 20% off of board games expansions and any board game expansions you order. Anything you store. order. Anything. You, usually it's stuff on the shelves, but this is everything. All right, we're done. Yay! Put a fork in us. Put a fork in us. We are done. And please follow all of our social media pages. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Four Horsemen Comics. Follow us on Instagram at Four Horsemen Comics. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash C slash Four Horsemen Comics Gaming. Follow us on Twitter at the number Four Horsemen Comics. Watch all of our streaming content at twitch.tv slash Four Horsemen Comics. And check out our TCG inventory at shop.fourhorsemancomics.com. Dot com. And that's it for issue number 27. We have hit the presses. Put in a can. Insert was, something clever here. Was that a wet, hot American summer reference? Never saw that movie. I hate you.